بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أوتيتم من العلم إلا قليلا صدق الله العظيم Today I'll talk about another subject which is how to overcome the IELTS exam the reading section to overcome the obstacle of having a high score in the reading section of IELTS exam you must follow some uh, tips I'll tell you about them now. First of all, you must to understand that the uh, reading exam is uh, a tricky exam. You will find three passages uh, and the questions are in a groups. Uh, first tip is the time management. Time management, I mean, you must to be sure that the reading exam is uh, composed of three uh, passages. If it is three passages, not two or more than three, then you must to do uh, your time management according to the uh, schedule as I tell you now. The passages are uh, increasing in their difficulties from easy one to moderate to difficult one. So time management you must to uh, put uh, 15 minutes for the first passage and 20 minutes for the second passage and 25 minutes for the third passage because the whole exam is an hour. Also, you must to leave two minutes for transferring of the answers into the uh, answer sheet. So, it will be 13 minutes and 18 minutes and 23 minutes for each, each passage. That's my first tip. Second tip is don't read, which is a really strange. How can you answer? reading section of IELTS exam and I recommend you not to read. Simply, I mean don't read the full details of all passages at the start of the exam. It's better to do scanning, scanning of the uh, each passage. Why? Because the most common mistake that most of the attendants of the IELTS exam go through the uh, reading of the exam as a whole, uh, reading of the passages as a whole as the first step of the exam. My recommendation is just do scanning of each uh, paragraph to put the whole idea of the paragraph. Also, don't try to understand all vocabulary in each passage because they are always, uh, always thinking to put uh, some complicated vocabulary in each uh, paragraph. My recommendation is just to get an idea or about each passage. You can get this idea from the first or second sentence of each paragraph and scan the rest of the paragraph rapidly. My third uh, tip for a reading exam is uh, when you go to a new city you don't know where to go so you always go through a map my recommendation is doing a map of each passage how to do such map very easy the text message or the passage is divided into paragraphs each paragraph contains many sentences you must to follow the shape of the paragraph. Later on, I'll tell you how they uh, ask you to do in the writing exam because each paragraph must contain or each uh, text must, must contain 
special uh, sequence like introduction and body and conclusion. Now you are reading, so they must follow the instruction of the uh, shape of the text. Each paragraph contains uh, introduction and body and uh, conclusion. So it is very easy to get the uh, main idea or main topic of each paragraph from its first sentence or second. If you cannot go directly to the last sentence where there is a conclusion of each paragraph. So you have your map that you uh, built it yourself. Also my recommendation in this point, it is better to write such map or what the paragraph is talking about on the side of each paragraph or underline the keywords in each paragraph to know your map which is very critical and very essential to get a high score in IELTS exam. So you did the most critical three steps. The fourth step, learn the rules. As I said to you, there is a special rule for each uh, paragraph. For example, the style. If you find the style of the paragraph is 55%, then you must follow such style in your answers. If you find, find there is uh, rules of the answer that you must to answer three words, you must follow these instructions. Number five, you must to be sure that all the tasks in the reading test is the same. No surprises at all. So don't worry or feel panic. There is a special uh, design of all uh, reading uh, questions. They are all in groups and I'll cover all the type of groups. You can find matching type of questions, you can find multiple choices, you can find a short answer uh, design, you can find sentence completion, uh, you can find two false and not given uh, answer uh, questions, you can find filling uh, sentence, uh, so don't worry, I'll describe how to overcome all of these types at all. And must to be sure that there is no surprises at all in the reading uh, exam because it is uh, within all of these styles. No more surprises. Number six, after we did time management and uh, we did a scan and having our map of, the, uh, of each paragraph, we are going now to fishing to get your fish or get your answer. It is very easy. You must read the question one by one. Read each question one by one. And find uh, the keyword of the question. What the question uh, necessitate you to, to answer for. And go to your map and find where exactly uh, this question answer is. Number seven, choose your pattern. How can you choose your pattern? There is uh, a lot of questions in the reading exam. Some of them are uh, easy going and some of them are difficult. Once you find a difficult question, don't spend much more time on it. Just go to the uh, easy one and do question mark at the difficult question, not to miss such question to return it uh, to it later on and answer it easily. Uh, this recommendation is very important because once you answer, once you answered all of these uh, easy questions, you will get uh, you will get a, a full idea about the uh, the paragraph and sentences. So my opinion that you are much more acquainted with the paragraph. So the complicated question will be easy after 
answering all of these easy questions. Number eight, use the paragraph layout. As I said to you, each paragraph consists of introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction, as I said before, contains the main idea and author's uh, opinion. The body is the, a lot of vocabulary and a lot of uh, words to explain and support the author's opinion. And the conclusion, uh, as I said to you, uh, it is uh, the summary of what the paragraph is. So, according to this uh, idea, you can easily find uh, the uh, answer of each group of questions. Uh, number nine, it's better to find the keyword. The keyword not only in the uh, in the paragraph or text, also find the keyword in the questions. Why? Once you find the keyword of the question, you can search in the paragraph uh, for such keyword according to the map that I recommended you before to do for each paragraph. The last strategy is how to deal with each type of uh, questions. For matching task, matching task, you will find the uh, passage and he will uh, give you uh, multiple choices one, each one is the header for each paragraph. So it's better to match each sentence as the header for each paragraph. To go through matching task, it is very easy. Just follow my instruction. You must read the instruction of the, uh, this question, matching task, uh, carefully. Why? To be sure that you can use the same header many times or only once. If you can use uh, in matching task the header only once, then once you choose the header, please do crossing at each header, not to use it again and again. Trust me, it is a common mistake that most of the uh, students going through the uh, IELTS exam can fall in. Second issue in matching uh, task is mapping. According to the map, you can get easy the uh, each uh, paragraph is talking about what from the first or the second sentence, as I said to you, or the last sentence, which is the conclusion for each paragraph. There is a trap in matching header. What is the trap? Sometimes you can find the paragraph is talking about such header. So you can choose it as a header, but the problem sometimes it is not the main topic or the main idea for such paragraph. It is just, by the way, it is one of the data inside the paragraph, but not the main topic of this paragraph. So please take care that one of the tricks which is more common for such matching uh, task that you can choose uh, a header which is not the main topic for that paragraph. Now I'm talking about another uh, type of the reading tasks, questions, which is true, false, and not given. The trick in such a type of exam is true, you must to find such sentence clear and very very apparent in the paragraph then you can choose it as a true if you find the opposite in the sentence uh, in the text uh, paragraph then it is false if you cannot differentiate if it is true or false it means it is not present such data in the paragraph, so it is not given, which is the most 
problem that you can face, which is not getting. And by the way, I can tell you what is the trick here. The most common trick in the true false not giving that they sometimes rely on your background, your knowledge, which is logic to choose as true or false. Why exactly in the paragraph it is not given? So please don't rely or, uh, on your knowledge, don't rely on uh, your experience, don't rely on logics, rely only what is available or mentioned clearly in the paragraph, okay? Which is the most common uh, problem there. And remember that each passage consists of paragraph, each paragraph consists of many sentences. The first and second is the introduction and then the body and the summary by the end of each paragraph. So go through such rule. Now I'm talking about the other type of the questions, which is multiple choice questions. In multiple choice questions, it is the same like true, false, not given. How it is the same? If the data is available in the text, then it is true, matching with the sentence. Or false, if it is uh, available, but opposite meaning, then it is uh, false, not given, it is, uh, there is no data in the text regarding this sentence. But in multiple choice, you always search for true answer. The false and not given, you cannot choose them in the multiple choice. To make it easy for you, it is better to go through trial and error. How? Put each choice in the sentence and read the full sentence and see. Is it right matching with the text or the paragraph or not? If not matching, then exclude it. So it is better to try each sentence, each choice, put it in the sentence and read the whole sentence to check which is the right answer in the multiple choice type of questions. But remember that there is the most common uh, trick in such type of questions, which is multiple choice questions, which is sometimes you can find the uh, all uh, choices are correct or all choices are uh, none of the choices are correct. So please read the instructions carefully and read the choices because the most common trick in multiple choice questions all are correct, none of them are uh, is correct. Now I'm talking about the uh, last type of the questions group of the reading exam is the gap filling strategy. To overcome the gap filling uh, questions, you must to uh, go through, as I said to you, each paragraph to read the first to get the idea and the author's uh, opinion. And the body, you will waste a lot of time, but the conclusion is the last sentence of each paragraph. In gap filling, remember what I said to you before in the listening exam, how to overcome the listening exam. In gap filling, it's better to go and look before and after the gap. Because the gap must be filled by either noun or adjective or verb. So look before and after the, the gap to be sure that the answer is a noun or adjective or a, a verb. Also, I want to tell you that there is uh, there is two types of uh, there are two type uh, types of gap filling either to choose from a list or go to the thickest uh, paragraph to choose uh, the gap filling uh, answers. And also, my recommendation to you that there is no more than one answer in each paragraph. For an instance, if you find the, uh, the answer in paragraph number one, 
Then the question number two, you will find the answer in the paragraph number two. Don't search for the same paragraph for multiple questions. Then don't uh, go back to the same paragraph for another questions because each paragraph you can find only one question talking about this uh, paragraph. One of the most common tricks for reading exam is assumption. The most problem that you can face in the reading exam is that you assume the answer is assume that it is logic to answer this or that. So please don't use your knowledge, don't use your experience, don't use uh, what do you know or what do you uh, what's your beliefs regarding uh, the answer. Just go to the map that you did before and choose the answer. My best regards to you having a high score in the reading exam for IELTS. If you like this video, you can subscribe or like and follow it frequently because we will add more uh, questions and more tricks and more uh, supporting data for the IELTS exam. Thank you. Goodbye.